Uh, welcome to the uh, January 3rd, 2017 Hamden Town Council meeting. Um, as your town attorney, under Article 2.4 or 204, excuse me, Section 204 of the Town Charter, I'm to open <laughs> this meeting and accept nominations from the Council for Mayor. And so the floor is open for nominations for Mayor for the year 2017. Any I'd, like nominations? To I'd like to nominate David Ryder as Mayor. Is there a second? Second. Are there any other nominations? There being no other nominations, is there any discussion? There being, there being none? There being none, may I call for a vote. All in favor of Mayor Ryder continuing? It's unanimous. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, before we go any further, I'd like. Oh, sorry. Constitution of the United States. I will support the Constitution of the United States. And of this state. And of the state. So long as I continue a citizen hereof. So long as I continue a citizen hereof. That I will in all respects. That I will in all respects. Observe the provisions of the charter and ordinances. Observe, observe the provisions observe of the all the charter, charter and, and the ordinances. Ordinance. Of the town of Hamden, Maine. Of the town of Hamden, Maine. That I will faithfully discharge that I will faithfully discharge all the duties incumbent upon me all the duties incumbent on me as the mayor of the town of Hamden as the mayor of the town of Hamden according to the constitution according to the constitution and the laws of the state and the laws of the state so help me god so help me god i just need one signature Thank you. The next item on the agenda before we go any further, could you please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The next item on the agenda tonight is the election of the deputy, deputy mayor. Do I have any nominations for deputy mayor? I make a motion that we nominate Ivan McPike as deputy mayor. Second. Do I have any other nominations? All those in favor? All those opposed? Thank you. You have to swear at me. You have to swear you in. Just repeat after me. I, Ivan McPike. I, Ivan McPike. Thank you. Next item on the agenda tonight is the consent agenda. Does anybody have any questions on the consent agenda? Do I have a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? All opposed? Seeing none, thank you. The next item is public comments. At this time, if there is anybody in the public that would like to speak on anything that is not on the agenda tonight, this is your opportunity. <laughs> Seeing none, uh, we have no news presentations and awards, uh, no public hearing nominations, uh, appointment of Vivian Gresser to the Historic Preservation Commission, referral from Planning Development Committee, Councilor McPike. 
At the last Planning and Development Committee, we uh, approved the appointment of Vivian Gresser uh, to the Historic Preservation Commission. And I would like to make a motion that uh, she be appointed to the Historic Preservation Commission. A second. Public comment? Discussion? All in favor? All opposed? The next item under nominations is the appointment of Jeff Simmons to the Historic Preservation Commission, referral from Planning and Development. At the last Planning and Development Committee meeting, we uh, moved to have Jeff Simmons uh, approved the appointment of the Historic Preservation Commission, and I would like to make a motion this time that we approve Jeff Simmons to the Historic Preservation Commission. Second. Public comment? Seeing none. Do we have discussion? All those in favor? All those opposed? The next item is unfinished business. There is none on the agenda tonight. Under new business, award of the 2016 interest rate for the sewer rate bid, referral from infrastructure. Councilor Marble. This is where I'm supposed to remember in detail what we did at a meeting on a prior evening. Um, which was part of a lengthy infrastructure meeting on the 27th. So going basically from memory, um, is this about the response to the RFP and the lending institutions? Uh, if I recall, we uh, recommended, uh, decided to recommend to the council um, going with the bid from the first uh, for a seven year term and I cannot remember the exact interest rate, which was substantially lower than the other four or five banks that responded. So maybe the town manager or the town clerk can help me out. Sure, this is uh, in response to the ballot question uh, that was approved by voters at the November election to uh, uh, pay some overdue uh, charges to the city of Bangor. We uh, solicited bids on interest rates for each of five, seven, and 10 year terms uh, so that the council would have full option on uh, both interest rate and term and uh, as Councillor Marble said uh, uh, the first bid was significantly lower and the bid that was recommended was seven year term at 2.61 percent uh, which is uh, the next lowest bid for the seven year term was 3.43 percent so it was significantly favorable. Quick question um, all the other bids and I'm trying to stay out of this because conflict of interest, but all the other bids, this is not tax exempt, correct? That's correct. Does the first know that? Yes. And they're going with that rate? It's, it was in the RFP and, and uh, yes. Okay. Yep. I would move that we accept the bid from the first for a term of seven years at a rate of 2.61% annual. Second. Any public comment? Seeing none. Discussion? All those in favor? All those opposed? Thank you. The next item is the council referral of the business park TIF to public hearing on February 6, 2017. This is just to refer to public hearing, planning development. Councilor McBike. Uh, <clears throat> on our meeting, our last meeting, we had, uh, we discussed the uh, business park TIF, uh, which included the complete business park, the, uh, the old business park or the park that had been developed and was currently being developed by Sargent Corporation had never been, uh, had a TIF uh, assigned to it. So we included with that the part that is not included down front. So now that whole business park comes under one TIF and we did uh, uh, recommend sending that to council uh, so that uh, we could go out and have a public hearing on that on February 6th. And I believe it has to go to the state before we can do that, or? That's right. In, upon, uh, in, in the event of council approval, it would be submitted to DECD at the, at, down in Augusta, and they would have a review and approval process. Uh, so with that being said, I would like to make a motion that we send to public hearing on the council meeting of February 6th, uh, the business park TIF. Second. Public comment? Seeing none. Discussion? All those in favor? All those opposed? Thank you. <coughs> Next item under new business is the council referral of the proposed amendments to the sewer ordinance to public hearing. Referral from the infrastructure committee. 
Councillor Marble. This is one of those areas I just want the public to know that um, it's one of the content areas that turns into just a ton of work, uh, mostly on the part of town staff, but also on the part of the full council and committee work. Um, it's pretty tedious at times, but it's meaningful. It translates into real work on the ground when town staff are working with local homeowners and businesses and developers. And we have reviewed several times, including at the meeting on the 27th, uh, draft suggestions to amendments to the sewer ordinance, most recently coming from the Director of Public Works, Sean Courier. So we've completed our tentative work at the committee level. Um, and. I'm going to suggest that we refer this to a public hearing. Do we have a date on this? No. I'm not sure how to specify a date. It should fit in with whatever works for you and the town clerk in terms of agenda. We have a public hearing next meeting anyway, so we could roll this into that same public hearing. On January 17th? Yep. And where the language before you is already in the form that would appear in the Okay. Hearing packet. Okay. So then I would move uh, that we have a public hearing on the proposed sewer ordinance amendments uh, at the next council meeting, January 17th. Second. Public comments? Seeing none. Discussion? All those in favor? All those opposed? Thank you. Next item under new business is the Council Authorization of the Landfill Monitoring Work Scope, Item 2 and 3, by Drumlin Environmental. I'm getting tested tonight. Um, I hope my recall is accurate in that this is sort of a housekeeping measure. Uh, we had intended to formally approve three phases of our work with Drumlin and voted almost a year ago, I believe, on only the first one. Um, the second one was a decision to have uh, them report to the town via a meeting at the council, which we did at the last council meeting. And I can't remember the details of part three at the moment. Uh, part three was to review the five-year post-closure report, which at the time this was authorized back in December of 2015, we knew that we would get the five-year uh, report uh, from um, Casella around April of 2016 and at that time that we received it that was uh, approved for Drumlin to uh, to do that work but when I went to pay the recent invoice I realized that formally the council while we had given clear direction to proceed with task two and three we hadn't formally accepted the uh, uh, the business agreement thank you town manager for more clear information and with that um, I move that we authorize landfill monitoring scope items two and three by Drumlin Environmentalist LLC. Second. I would just note uh, for discussion that, uh, well, just for information really, uh, as noted in the packet, this uh, expense will be submitted to the Environmental Trust for reimbursement, subject to their approval. Public comments? Seeing none, discussion? All those in favor? All those opposed? Thank you. The next item on tonight's agenda is committee reports. Uh, Finance Committee, Councilor Sorois. Uh, since I was not at the last meeting, so I can't speak to that. Um, and tonight's, we did not have a finance and uh, meeting. It's all right. Uh, planning development. Council McPike. Uh, yeah, planning and development uh, met and they talked of two things, the primary thing being the business park TIF, um, which um, the motion was made tonight and it was sent to public hearing for February 6th. The other item that we discussed was uh, uh, fiber right and uh, an, on, an update uh, as to uh, um, what was taking place uh, for the uh, structures uh, out there. Thank you. Infrastructure Committee, Councilor Marble. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we had a lengthy meeting on the 27th of December. Um, in addition to what has come up tonight, we also reviewed letters from the DEP to the town regarding stormwater uh, progress reports. Um, the Director of Public Works submitted a long list of public works projects um, 
ranging from those that have been completed to those underway and those still scheduled. Um, we started work on amending or actually creating um, a transfer station policy to support the day-to-day -day work of the town manager and town staff and that we decided will be brokered into um, a work group uh, of council members and staff to try to give the public and the town something consistent to go by and I think that is all thank you services committee council McAvoy thank you mayor Ryder uh, we haven't had a meeting since the last council uh, meeting so I have nothing to report thank you uh, town managers report report I would uh, I was out most of last week so I don't have much to report but I, I do want to say that we had a, uh, a very promising meeting uh, the town planner and I met today with representatives from both Senator King and Senator Collins's office and uh, we spent about an hour and a half and we had sent them a, a lot of information in, in advance which uh, they had obviously reviewed came into the meeting very well prepared very interested to, to learn about Hamden both some of the challenges we're facing and some of the very exciting uh, opportunities that we see ahead uh, so I think it was a good basis to uh, uh, hopefully find opportunities to uh, uh, get some financial support some from some federal agencies uh, with a particular focus on sewer infrastructure thank you the next item tonight is councillor comments councillor McAvoy thank you it's just basically a question uh, out here in the uh, in the uh, school speed limit zones is it the state that controls those signs or you know has input on where they are and all that stuff could we ask them to put a sign up there where it says when children are present? I mean, I've gone by those. I've never seen anybody out there except for right down here by Hannaford. Other than that, I don't see anybody out there walking anywhere and you're going 15 miles an hour all the way down across and there's nobody there. So just a question. I'll look into it. Councilor Comia. No comment. Councillor Marble. Looking forward to another year on the council. Uh, we're all glad the mayor has agreed to continue to be the mayor. He's been good for this town and this team. Um, and we'll all do our best. I know I will to recall <laughs> information from meetings with clarity and try to remember to always make sense to the public and, and not forget that the public's not always in the room when we're trying to figure things out. So I'm looking forward to a good year. Thank you. Councilor Wild? Uh, no comments except that if you are out and about tonight, drive careful. It is starting to be a freezing rain situation out there. Good night, Hamden. Thank you. Councilor McPike? Um, yes, uh, <clears throat> after my second year uh, on the council uh, with one year's hiatus in between, uh, uh, it was a remarkable change uh, this last year and uh, how well this council worked together, the amount of projects that uh, we got done. Um, and the uh, advancements that I saw step forward uh, for this town and uh, it made me very pleased to be a councilor again and to be setting up here and hopefully uh, representing uh, the people out there in all the districts uh, the only other comment is there is a planning and development committee committee meeting tomorrow night but I'm not sure who's chairing that since the mayor <laughs> hasn't put out anything yet but I'm sure people know tomorrow in the mail thank you Councilor Soroys. Uh, I'd like to say uh, how pleased I am again to work under the leadership of uh, uh, Mayor Ryder uh, this coming year and also then to congratulate him and congratulate uh, Ivan McPike as Deputy Mayor. Thank you. I guess from my comments, I would like to thank people for signing up to be on different committees. Uh, it's nice to see in the last year we've had a lot of people sign up for different positions in the town and it's nice to see that People are getting involved, and I think it makes a difference as far as the town moving forward. I'd like to thank my fellow councillors for having enough confidence to put me in as mayor again this year. I hope I can uh, do a good job for them. We had a busy year last year. We had a lot of things we did. We had a lot of things we didn't get done, but I'm sure we're going to keep working on it. 
I think the council overall is all looking for the best interest for the town of Hamden. We seem to work really good together. We may not always agree, but that's fine too. Um, so I'm just thankful for all the work that we did get accomplished last year. I look forward to getting a lot more accomplished this year, and I think it'll prove to be a, a good good year for the town of Hamden. And uh, with that, thank you, Hamden, and do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Thank you. Good night.